repeat the mistake that I've made. Hi! Hello guys, I'm Ivor and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be studying law. Here are the three questions that you should be asking yourself. First question. Why do you want to study law? Second question, do you have any other passions other than law? Third question, are you ready to work for long hours with an average pay in the beginning of three to five years? Let me break down those questions one by one. Okay, let me start by answering why did I study law? The answer to why do I want to study law is because of peer pressure and also the misconception of being a lawyer makes you rich. Or you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really Long answer is because I don't know what to study. Wait, no, I actually knew what I want to study, but it's just Asian society and the whole um, peer pressure. Okay, all my Asian peers are going to university and doing serious degrees. What if I said I want to do music then? That kind of sounds lame. At the time, I wanted to be a YouTuber, but because of all the criticisms and me being afraid of other people's judgment, then I kind of stopped doing YouTube. So I always knew what I wanted to do, but it just felt like it wasn't money rewarding, you know what I mean? I imagine telling your parents that you want to be a YouTuber after high school without going to college. And as a result of peer pressure, then I signed up for A-levels and I <laughs> went to law school. And fun fact, I actually sent in an audition tape for a food host. The fact that the defendant is having four large speakers and the plants are chattering off the 200 guests over the party at night in a private private residential area with only four houses in this neighborhood makes it an actionable pri private nuisance as this is beyond what the plaintiff would expect to bear and also there are some direct evidence saying that Wow, wow! And when I come to think of it, I actually wanted to do media stuff So you gotta really ask yourself like, do you really like law subjects? Like think about all the statutes and rules you have to memorize who would take it as a hobby if you're doing law because your family wants you to and because you think other degrees are pretty much irrelevant? It's a total mistake. So the main point to take away for this first question is only do law if law is your passion. Which I haven't met anyone saying that out loud except my lecturers or some psychopath lawyers. If the answer is yes, why the hell are you still thinking about law? As I mentioned earlier, I actually knew what I wanted to do. I had passion. It's not that I didn't know what to study for degree, but just that the misconception of thinking only professional degrees are worth going for, like engineering and medicine stuff, uh, whatever. You want to study art? How is that going to feed you? Auntie, uncle, I'm talking to you. There's nothing wrong for children to go study fashion designing or what art design shit. I thought of going for music production, video editing course or film school. And at the time, people just told me that, oh, you know video editing and film school, you can just learn it by yourself on YouTube. Yes, I agree to that because going to university doesn't mean that you're 100% capable of doing what you study for. But, but, I only realized this recently, is the connection and networks matters. For example, James is a self-taught producer learn all the music production skills on YouTube without going to university and another example Blake who actually went to university he's been attending all these like film events and you know knowing different kind of people okay don't hate me on this but I feel like university is not the best place to learn because some lectures are shit the key to university is to meet people meet people that has the same interests and then after university you get to come up with something with them Here's the disadvantage of Blake and Jason, James, is that they probably have the same skills but they might not have the same network. In this reality world, um, networking is so important. Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the friends and the people that I've met through my law degree and my bar course, but it just doesn't really help to what my passion really wants. Me to get there. Like, if I really want to produce music and do YouTube videos, what am I gonna do with my law contacts? Especially in Malaysia, who doesn't really recognize media as a workable thing. I just really hope that I can meet someone who shares the same interests and discuss about YouTube strategy and like music producing things. <sighs> it must be great. You don't really meet this kind of people when you're in the legal field. As much as I want to pursue my passion, there comes this Asian society standards, the peer pressure, that you have to be financially stable, be rich, get a house, get a car, get married by 30. 
which means I only have five years to fulfill that and it's giving me a lot of anxiety and pressure. <laughs> I understand why the Asian parents are getting so paranoid about it because like in their era they don't really have passion this kind of thing. They just work, work, work and then save the money and give it back to their children kind of thing. It's 2020. We don't really confine to the old rules anymore. Like if you're gay, you're gay. If you don't get married, that's fine. If you do get a car, you do get a house, that's fine. As long as you're living happily and with some money. I feel like you have to strike the balance. Don't just work for someone else, work for a company, 9 to 5, and, and you'll be so drained that you don't have energy to do your passion. Don't be like that. Strike a balance, okay? That's not what life is about. This is the biggest misconception that anyone has including my parents i'm sure that people out of this legal field always think that oh lawyers are filthy rich like they just sign the papers and they get like five thousand but the money only goes to the boss not the employees that's why i said it normally takes like three to five years to gain your experience and to open your own firm kind of thing i still remember how shocked my parents were when i told them how much my ex-boss was paying for my pupillage they were like huh so less only ah. Oh, yo, I thought I use a lot. Ha ha ha. And if you have some lawyer friends, you would know that there's no such thing as nine to five. They don't really get OT pay. But bear in mind that the working hours are going to be different depending on the states that you're living in. And it also depends on the field that you're doing. If you're doing litigation, the workload is definitely going to be more spontaneous. You gotta keep up with the timeline like 14 days, blah blah blah. What I'm trying to say is that lawyers are not paid enough in Malaysia because if you're comparing to other professionals like dentists, pharmacies, whatever, they get OT pay, like overtime pay. Sometimes it hurts me to see other jobs that are more flexible and don't really need to put that much of effort in are earning more than lawyers. Just because I study law doesn't mean that I have to be a lawyer. Don't get me wrong, I don't regret taking law as a degree but I feel like I could have taken music production and film degree which would help me especially in networking and connections and the people that I mix with which would help me to reach a better place. <laughs> I mean, law degree is very versatile. You could be doing banking if you don't want to become a lawyer or doing like compliance manager, blah, 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 in an in-house lawyer. So starting pay for a first year lawyer in a capital city would be a minimum of 2005. How long is it going to take to buy a house? How long is it going to take to pay off my student debt? You know what? At some point, I just felt like I want to be a flight attendant and just fly away and get the money you know do some investment in property stuff like that i just don't like the idea of trading my time to do something that i don't like what i really want is to build up my skill and try to get passive income instead of just trading my time and my labor and my health to get my salary but in order to do that way i have to sacrifice a lot of things like in the beginning it's hard because you don't really see source of income coming in Whereas if you are working for someone else, like you're working as a lawyer, you get paycheck every month. Let me tell you something. Everyone is telling you that law is hard to study. Law is only difficult if you don't have interest in it. If it's too difficult, perhaps you shouldn't be pursuing a career in law. Okay, law is law. You just study, memorize it, apply in the right situation. What I'm saying is, if you put in a hard work, you're definitely gonna ace it. Whereas, if you're doing art or like music stuff, you can't really force creativity. Creativity doesn't come out of hard work. It takes practices and imagination and a lot of like creativity in your mind. It takes time for you to get inspiration too. It's not like, okay, today I want to study a few topics and done. It's not like that. So for people who think that art degree or music degree is easy and it's not comparable to professional degrees like accounting or what pharmacy, think again, okay? So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer it. Just leave the comments down below. Like, subscribe. I hope these questions and answers would help you to reach where you want to be. Don't try to repeat my mistake. Until then, so long.